what's up so as you can tell by the title of this video this look is generic AF this is like the mauvey brown purpley look that everybody's doing but it's so pretty so that's why they're doing it <laughs> this is my everyday look this is what I wear when days when I don't really want to think about my makeup where I don't feel like practicing a wing liner or false lashes it's just super simple you don't have to be skilled to do this look all you need is a blending brush and a few mauve colors I'm using the Carly Bible palette in today's video so it's all these gorgeous mauve bronzy colors that I love so much so if you want to see how I got this look then don't click away okay so to start this look off I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal magic Lumi face primer I haven't used this stuff in a while I love how silvery it is. It's so cool. I already moisturized my skin um, and cleansed it this morning. I use my Aveeno Positively Radiant Moisturizer to moisturize my skin and now I'm priming it for foundation. And I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. It like rejuvenates you and like awake, wakes you up. Okay. All right, now I'm going with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Just going to dot this everywhere. I look so freckly right now. I went to the beach on Sunday for my brother's birthday, and it was my first time going forever. And I wanted to get a little bit of a tan, so I didn't really put um, sunscreen on my face like when we first got there because I wanted to get a little color and then I figured I'd like put some on but I fell asleep <sighs> and I woke up and like my face was kind of like burnt a little bit and so I ended up just throwing a towel over my face I always do that when I go to the beach like instead of putting sunscreen on my face I just throw a towel over it because I don't like it when my face gets burned that's like the worst thing ever because then foundation doesn't go on good and I get even more freckly which I'm fine with the amount I have right now, so don't want any more. Concealer, I'm using my Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the color Sand Sable. This is a little bit darker than the one I usually use, but that's just because I have a little bit of a tan right now, and that other color was just way too light. I use this to highlight too, that's why I bring it down so far when I conceal. looks a little crazy, but it really is the best way to hide your dark circles bringing it all the way down because we just bring it like in a little loop right here it just looks like obvious <laughs> I don't know it just doesn't look as natural and then I'm just gonna highlight the tip of my chin and the middle of my forehead using the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer I'm just gonna blend this out using my damp real technique sponge so I think today I'm going to do like a mauvey brown look like my go-to mauvey brown look which is kind of the look that like everyone does now but it's a look that I wear like all the time so I figured I would just film it it's also a look I wore last night me my friend Amelie and my sister Sable we went to Cheesecake Factory and oh my god we ate so much food we got appetizers, entrees, and we split a cheesecake, which was like, by the end of the meal, we were all literally dying. We had these, like, extravagant plans to go downtown Orlando and go out drinking, and, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> we got carried away with all the food. This is what we do every time we go out. We make, like, these plans to go out. We're like, oh, let's get dinner first. Like, that'll be fun. And then we eat until we explode, and then we just don't have the energy to go out, and it's like... We never learn. We never learn. It happens every time. Alright, I'm just setting my under eyes right now with my MAC. Em is it Emphasize? Emphasize. I always say Accentuate, but it's MAC Emphasize. It's like this white powder right... Ah! Almost dropped it. It's this white powder right here. As you can see, it is well loved. I have hit pan on it. But it just like, I don't know, it feels like good underneath my eyes. I feel like my Anastasia one is really drying. Like it's good and it has good coverage, but it, it just makes my under eye area feel so dry. So I kind of just like always gravitate towards this one. Alright, time for brows. My NYX micro brow pencil is no more. I need to pick up another one. So I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows with the spoolie at the end. 
and then fill them in with my CoverGirl pencil. Okay, eyebrows are done. I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow now. And because we use concealer and powder over our eyes, we don't need to use any eye primer. I'm gonna start off, actually, I'm gonna start off with this brown color. This is gonna be like a mauve brown look. This middle color right here, this is the color Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna take like a smallish fluffy brush and just put this in my crease. This look is super simple. It doesn't have eyeliner and it doesn't have false lashes. So you don't have to be super skilled in makeup to do this look. That's what I love about it. I can just do it, slap it on in like 10 minutes and be out the doors. Okay, now I'm taking my Carly Bible palette. This palette is so good. The colors are super pigmented. So I'm just gonna take this top middle mauve color and on just like a white fluffy goat hair brush because I don't want too much pigment. And I'm just gonna pop this in the crease, mainly focusing it on the outer part of my crease. I don't want this on the lid or too high. So just like the lower outer portion of my crease to open up my eyes and make my eye sockets look deeper. And this will also make your eyes look more round, which who doesn't want? big round Disney princess eyes you know okay so now I'm gonna take the second to last color it's a little bit darker and more purpley just on the same brush and then just kind of pack it on the outer part of my lid it's kind of like pouncing the brush okay now taking a pencil brush and taking this last color in the palette this purple color I'm just gonna focus this on the lash line of the outer portion of my eye and kind of bring it up into the V the V is like this little like outer corner and it looks like a mess right now but <laughs> we're gonna blend it don't you worry and just kind of like pull it towards the middle of my eyeball okay now I'm gonna take this very first color in this palette this cream color and with my middle finger I'm just gonna like pack it on and then just place it on the inner part of my eye just to make the inner part a little bit more bright Okay, for mascara, I'm using my Super Sizer by CoverGirl. Okay, we're going to leave the eyes alone for a second. And I'm going to finish off my face. I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with this Sigma F10 brush. And I'm just going to gently bronze up my face. I want this to be like a bronzy, soft, mauve look. So I'm not going to do like a contour or anything. I just want to make my face look real bronzy. And I just bring it down my neck too just to bronze up my neck so it doesn't look like we're wearing a mask because that is not cute. For blush, I'm gonna use this Tarte blush. It's in the color Ecstatic. It was part of one of their holiday collections. That's why it's in this cool, like, packaging. So it looks like this. It's like a peach color. And I'm just gonna take this brush and apply it to my cheeks. I'm kind of staying away from the apples of my cheeks just because I want my face to look, like, more pulled back, you know? So I'm just kind of going just right above the contour with this blush. For a highlight, I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. Love this highlighter. With this Smashbox fan brush. It's important to kind of blend it out when you use a fan brush because otherwise you'll just have like a stripe of highlight and it'll just look very weird. So I always put it on first and then just kind of circular motions, kind of blend it up and down just so it's not like a perfect stripe because that just looks unnatural. Not that this is like the most natural look in the world, but you know. Okay, we're gonna finish off the eyes now. I'm taking this Carly Bible palette again with this definer brush. These kind of brushes are perfect to put underneath your lash line. This one I have is the Sigma E15. Um, I don't know what I want to do because last night I had this gold underneath my eyes and it looked kind of cool, but I kind of want to stay with the mauve look. I don't know what to do. Alright, 
I'm going to do both. Alright, I'm going to take this middle color right here. It's not really a middle color, this one towards the end. And I'm going to pack it on this brush. And then I'm going to focus it on that outer part of the outside of my eye. So just like to here. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to take this, oh, this gold highlight color at the very bottom. I'm going to pack it on my brush. And I'm going to focus it on the inner portion of my eye. So like right here. All right, now I'm going to take this color right here, just a little bit of a lighter gold, and just pop that right in the center. Just for an extra, I don't know, <laughs> just to be extra. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with bottom mascara. I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. For lips, I'm going to use Lumiere 2 by ColourPop. It is a liquid lipstick, and it's this really pretty mauve color. So once your lipstick is on, this look is complete. I hope you guys like it. I love this look. It's perfect for everyday wear. You don't even have to use such a dark lip. You can use a nude lip or just a little pink lip gloss. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be out with a new video very soon. Bye!